right. Hello, Facebook Gaming. All right, gentlemen, you guys ready to do a show? I Let's believe so. All right. Let's light it up in five. If you'd like to sponsor Still Got Game, give us a call at 773-527-2961 or email us at podcast at toolsplay.com. Hey now, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Still Got Game, episode 437. Still Got Game is the official podcast of toolsplay.com. I am, as always, Derek D. Smooth Nolan. I am Chris Selden, 007 Selden. And I'm James Yachtdog Yacht. And we're back back after a few weeks off and that was uh that was too much of a hiatus for me yeah it's all mixer's fault fuck you mixer <laughs> <laughs> oh the love is gone the love is gone that's rough that's rough <laughs> but yes we are broadcasting live tonight on facebook.com slash tool to play so that is our new live home for this show you can tune in there watch us and love us like you do um yeah, and we'll still archive the shows on a YouTube and everything we've always done, but uh, we are trying this new live streaming right on a Facebook. It's where most of our audience seems to exist, so we figured we'd give you a shot and see if you'll come join us. So uh, I don't know how many we're going to have live versus how many watch us on replays or when they log into Facebook the next time. It's like, Tool to Play was live. Do you want to watch it? But uh, we'll see what happens. But this is where we will be live each and every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. So, why don't we jump right in the show proper, and uh, if any of you are live and you want us to talk about something on the show, and you just drop in the chat, and we'll try to work into the show. Uh, but uh, we will jump right in the mailbag for feedback and questions from three weeks ago's show. And uh, remember, <laughs> if you want to leave us a voicemail, it will cut you off after a minute. Blue Steel asks... With Mixer being discontinued, do you think Microsoft will replace it on the dashboard with Facebook streaming? Will it work with the share button on the new controller? Or do you think they'll remove streaming altogether? The last part is definitely a no. There's, there's definitely still going to be streaming. You can still stream from your Xbox right now on Twitch. It's like a 20-step pain-in-the-ass process, but you can do it. Whether they swap it out with Facebook gaming, I don't know. They still They're, haven't done it, and they need to get that done if they want to make it successful. Yeah, the, just yeah. They, they and, I, and today I saw actually Xbox streaming on Twitch today. So <laughs> I don't know if they're really gonna do anything with it. So yeah. more just open it up to stream what you want and yeah, and stream where you want, which is yeah. that's not a bad thing either if you think about it. Like if if you at least have some kind of app that you. Uh, like a Facebook app that you put on the Xbox and then you can stream to either Twitch or Facebook or wherever like that's more choices and more choices and or, and be able to stream to YouTube from there so I I have no problem with that um, I, I hope that all this gets figured out sooner than later but uh, I didn't in, in, envision like an instant changeover where like one day we'd turn on the Xbox and uh, we'd have facebook game streaming i also did not envision that if i was in the preview program that i would lose my stream to to mixer like two weeks before everybody else so that was kind of a, a little surprise um but yeah it is what it is we love mixer we love the zero latency now if i look over at the stream that we're streaming we oh are my like gosh. 15 20 seconds behind of where we are in real life and mixer it was less than a second so uh, nobody does this as well as they did, but it is what it is, and I don't know what. I just, know. I just really wish that they'd step up and and make streaming easier for Twitch and Facebook. I mean, Mixer had it perfect. It was just like a couple buttons, boom, you're up and you're streaming. Now it's to do Twitch, you got to open up the Twitch app, you got to do up the you know the share, you got to do all those extra steps. Facebook, there's no integration whatsoever for it right now, so. Yeah. I, I just wish they'd make it easier for people to do what they need to do to stream the stuff. So, agreed. I agree. But do I think that they're going to get rid of streaming? Absolutely not. Streaming is the future for a lot of this stuff. So they're they're definitely going to figure out how to get this to work, and they're going to get it in. I'm sure. So no, no doubt, no doubt. It's just when it shows up is the question. So, all right. Um, next up, 
Gwent33 comments. I really enjoyed the console quantity debate you guys all had last week, aka three weeks ago. <laughs> while I think D-Smooth is way at one end of the spectrum, I don't think it will be out of the ordinary for families with kids to pick up more than one Xbox Series S or families with parents and kids who game to pick up an Xbox Series X and an Xbox Series S. Isn't that what I was saying? I I and Hit was arguing with me about that? Oh, Hit wanted to punch you in the face, Jan. <laughs> I don't so understand. Mad. Like, I... If it's that cheap, I just didn't understand why he was fighting me so far on it. Because if it's that cheap, people are going to buy it. I mean... Yeah. I don't think that we're out of the norm to say that if the Xbox Series S is coming in at 200 250 that there's going to be multiple consoles purchased on that if they can. You know, yep. there, There's definitely a need in my house to have more than just the one console. And if I can upgrade my old Xbox Xs, you know, and my Xbox One, I definitely would gr grab it opportunity to grab another couple so yeah i agree like yeah like i can't have enough consoles they're like pokemon it's gonna catch them all <laughs> so, except uh, for when it comes to playstation you can only have one of those yeah, play, I don't go on <laughs> I although i did fire up the playstation yesterday updated to the latest dashboard and downloaded my three free games so who knows and then turned it off <laughs> and then turned it off but i did give my uh 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 my uh, why am I drawing a blank here? I did uh, go in. I called my friends list. I accepted friends requests. I denied friends requests. <laughs> I, I saw that they've removed the Facebook linking to your um, PlayStation account, so there's no longer like the quickie Facebook stuff. Mm. Uh, I also did get a chance to use my Astro controller that's tied to the... <laughs> Uh, the PlayStation, which I haven't used in a while, and the thing's pretty nice and expensive. So, it was like, how much dust did you have to knock off that stuff? Oh man, I gotta blow that thing out every single he, time I get out. The he he took it. He took it outsize and turned the hose on it first, <laughs> just to knock but, all the dust off of it. But it was nice to fire it up. That's all I'm saying. All right, uh, color me color M three bad. Well, the color color me bad. Me bad. <laughs> asks. The hate for Dr. Disrespect was powerful. I know he comes off like an asshole, and he probably is, but since it's also part of her persona, or his persona, should we give him the benefit of the doubt? No. Can we just, hey, Derek, no. Derek, before you say anything, yep. <laughs> before you say anything and go off on Color Me Bad, yeah. um, why don't we just say no and then move on? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's definitely no. the shorter way to do this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not giving this guy the, the benefit of the doubt. The guy's a piece of shit. Subhuman. We've no, he cheated on his wife. I mean... Yep. Subhuman. We've talked about it. I think we can all agree. Not a nice guy. Piece of shit ball sack, right? <laughs> I just think enough of his, his true personality comes through in whatever character he's playing that... You know, he's just he's he, he's just not the kind of guy I'd ever want to hang out with at all. <laughs> Let's think about it this way, uh, color me bad. There's some actors out there, okay? They're really good to play certain roles, but then when you put them in other different, like so, they say somebody plays a role for a bad guy, mm -hmm. but then he gets later on, he reads the script and he's in another movie, but he plays a role of a good guy and he just sucks. You're just some people that are good at certain roles, Bad. Yeah. you know, <laughs> and that's just how it is. You know, there's some guys that are funny and they, they go to a funny movie, try to be funny. And it's just like, who is this guy? Why is he trying to be funny? He's not funny, yeah. you know, so. I agree. All right. And uh, last but not least, and I forgot to update this with a newer Altius question. He's been sending them nonstop. So this one's kind of out of date, but not really, because there was also some new news on this this week. But uh, Altius asks, since you discussed the wave of sexual abuse and assault in the gaming industry, much has happened. Ubisoft had a VP resign, fired a few others, and has noted they need to do better. EA is also investigating. Other high-profile CEOs have also been removed and replaced. I think we can all agree this is good, but how long do you think it will take before the old guard are replaced as part of this shakeup? Um, 
I think it's happening. I don't think it's it's you know some of it might still be sweeped under the rugs, but I think that it's happening. It's you know it becomes more prominent and it's going to hurt the people. I think they're they'll they'll keep and the industry is changing. So you know the old guard is not really. I don't know how many old guards really going to be there much longer. Some of them are probably going to retire or get replaced, anyways, by newer, younger people. So, yeah, there was more stuff this week out of uh, a, a, a woman up in Ottawa or one of the Canadian parts of uh, Ubisoft resigned this week over a culture of abuse and violence, and they they seem to be more terrible than the rest, but. I think as these guys drop out, nobody wants to be labeled as that asshole or that bad guy again. I don't think we're gonna we're gonna see this. It's gonna take a while for everybody that's done something wrong to be replaced. But there's enough people sharing their stories now that comeuppance yeah. is right around the corner. Yeah, I think stuff, they'll probably it's... also maybe sorry, Selden. They'll probably sweep some of those people out quietly. <laughs> so. Go ahead, Selden. Sorry. Yeah, no, I was just gonna say. I think it. I think it's a good movement. I think it needs to keep going, um, and, and you know, bring justice to where justice is due. Um, you know, and just uh, I, I don't want to see things just swept to the side. You know, in three weeks, and I'm glad to see that there's still stories coming out about this, and uh, hopefully, it helps the industry get to a better place right now. So. Oh, agreed. Agreed. Like, it, we're we're making steps in the right direction. It's just let let's keep rolling that way and see what happens. All right. Well, uh, thanks for the question, Altheus. And if any of you have questions, give us a call, 773-527-2961, or email us at podcast.toolplay.com. And uh, we'll feature your show, uh, your question on next week's show. All right. So on that, why don't we hop on over into what we're playing. Selvin, what are you playing this week? I uh, got uh, started playing Ori again this week. Uh, getting really good into that game. Uh, that's a, it's a phenomenal game. It's really, it brings back some of the old arcadey, you know, it's, you know, that, that cuphead feel where it's, you know, there's definitely parts that are very difficult and you have to grind through to get the, the patterns and stuff like that. It's, it's a beautiful game. It's absolutely gorgeous playing through that game. And I know that they just announced at the Xbox show that they're going to be remastering that for the Xbox oh, uh, series so X. Cool. It looks, it it's looks just, phenomenal. Yeah. It's gonna be freaking phenomenal. And if they add more content to it when they content to it when they bring that out, it's just gonna it, that get, that game is gonna be game of the year, um, or at least a contender for it. So it's just it's just a great game to play. Um, besides that, uh, played a lot of Minecraft with my boys. Um, started playing through some more Halo lately. Um, getting back into playing some of that. Looking forward to the the hype train that's building for it. So uh, it's good with that. And then uh, just by <laughs> <laughs> and just my uh, my mobile games, my uh, Empires of Puzzles and Clash Royale, has been keeping up most of my time. So very nice, very nice. Yeah, what have you been up playing? Uh, I've been playing some Warzone, um, as usual. Played some Animal Crossing with my youngest son. And don't kill me, Derek. My older son has been wanting to play Destiny too, so I've been playing Destiny oh, just to run around nice. with him. Uh, just just because I'm trying to be a good dad and hang out. Huge with me. Destiny Two news out of that play. That yeah, it was. Th too. I thought that was pretty pretty. I was pretty stoked about it, even though I'm not going back. I'm I'm just playing just to hang out with him and to know, help him all out. That free content that's coming to us. I know. I know. Um, you already bought most of it, you addicts. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Um, I did. But anyways, so <laughs> but I'm looking forward to the darkness that's coming free. Yeah. Um, Anyways, go on. <laughs> yeah, and I I've been playing a little Pokemon Go on the side just for the fun of it. Um, oh, just just you. because. Look at you. I know I'm going old school. <laughs> it's funny to say old You're school like, for they, that. They raised the level cap. Oh shit! It's fifty. No, I didn't. No. Did they really? I'm, raise not, the level I'm not going for level. I'm just just doing my normal. Just because I've been since we got a, since we got a puppy, I take the puppy to work and then I go for walks by myself and. I just pull the game out and play, you know? I'm going for a walk. Might as well the old catch Pokemon while I'm walking the dog, <laughs> you know? The, the way that do. people were meant to play, not when they use their hack. And Yeah, them. I don't do that anymore. I'm playing legit. <laughs> so, I did hear that uh, they're doing a community, a worldwide community day, so you don't have to travel to Indianapolis or something <laughs> Silly that, like that, that was just this past that, weekend. You mean yeah. Pokemon oh, Go Fest? Yeah, Go yeah, Fest? It? It, it was happened. this weekend. Yeah. 
And I didn't pay fifteen dollars for it, so uh, you could have paid fifteen dollars to catch some exclusive mods. Is basically what it boiled down. Yeah, to. and I, I wasn't interested. And I was busy too. I didn't have time, so that's I'm pretty glad much that event was it. successful. Then <laughs> uh, I know this week I'll be playing some Halo. We talked about that before this, but um, definitely on the hype train for that because uh, getting back into that. Nice. And Mike Scott, don't boo Destiny, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't be, don't be Derek. Okay, I see you in chat. I see you, Mike Scott. I Welcome see you. <laughs> What's up, Mike? That's the beauty of being on Facebook. Everybody yeah. comes. So uh, I did <laughs> not play any fucking Call of Duty this week. For the first week since its release, I played none. And uh, we played some Halo Master Chief Collection. There's still some matchmaking issues there. Uh, I played with Mr. GVMS, and uh, one of the two of us would get booted from... 80% of the games each time that we had already match made in and it was the game was supposed to start. Halo 5 seems to work every single time, so we've been playing a lot of that. Um, but that it's been good to get back to Halo. Slow down the pace a little bit. Yeah. You're, you're I'm excited about like playing this week. I, 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 if you guys can play tomorrow is, night? Uh, it's probably, definitely Wednesday. Usually we're Wednesdays and Thursdays. Okay. I'm I'm gonna definitely jump on this week and play some. So yeah, we we like I said, unfortunately, we, every time we try MCC, we play it for a half hour and then shit goes bad and then we drop to Halo Five. But it's still fun. We're still having a good time with it. Are you playing that on the Xbox or the PC? I am playing currently on the Xbox right now. Okay. Yeah, because Mike doesn't have a PC, does he? That can play. No. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. yeah. Uh. So, but those, those have been super fun. Uh, also played a bunch of Jackbox games this week. Uh, that was fun bombing your game for a little while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Selden dropped in when we was playing with the kids, which was good. Uh, although somehow he was so slow that randos that jumped on the stream beat him into games, which was, <laughs> yeah, we, at one point we had like 15 or 20 people on our stream, which was crazy because it was like a- You were streaming stream. to Twitch, right? Yeah, we didn't even advertise. So yeah. It's just people were dropping in and people love that stuff. love those Jackbox games and just joining people. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem when you tag the game is that people show up to your stream that's supposed to be private. So, but that's yeah. also how we got. So, well, Sel Selden probably came in because he saw your friend is streaming. Not yeah, I was streaming yeah. the game, but yes. Yeah, but um, stuff can go south real quick when you have the public join in those games. Oh, I would imagine so. <laughs> yeah, some of those T-shirt designs may not be yeah. safe for work ever. <laughs> so yeah played the jackbox games and then uh i did do the harry potter events all those things that happened uh pokemon go i still just catch them on every day and that's it and uh tomb blast been playing a lot less but it's still like if i'm just sitting around watching tv and the show's not compelling i'll play a little tomb blast but that's about it so I wish they would let you trade in Pokemon Go from a distance now since COVID. Since I wish that's yeah. one thing they would at open up because I the only thing I'm missing right now. I mean, I'm missing stuff from the two new generations, but the, I'm only missing one from the first generation, and that's Mewtwo. But oh, I, I just can't. I got yeah, that's. I would love to tr trade anything for that at this point. So, who knows? Maybe they will. Yeah. Maybe they will. So. All right, uh, well, on that, why don't we hop on over into the new releases? And I did call these a little bit because they've been sitting around for weeks, uh, but these do still cross multiple weeks. Uh, first new release out is Paper Mario, the Origami King. So uh, this is obviously only out for the, the Switch. Um, did anybody pick this up? Is anybody playing it? Does no. anybody love it? Is anybody sexing it up? I, it, I know <laughs> these games are... People love these games. We almost picked it up for my son for his birthday coming up. Um, but he had a couple other games that, that he's going to be busy with. So we decided not to pick it up. But yeah, it, it's, it's a normal, fun Paper Mario game. It's, it's really good. I mean, it's not going to be any bad... There's not really any bad Mario games no. that are like Mario like this type stuff, you know. So, yeah, yeah my that's playing it loves it. I just, it's not my thing. Yeah, yeah, my switch has gone back into dust collecting mode after I got bored with uh, Animal Crossing. So, it's a not pick up for me. No, and I'm definitely not picking up because that thing just sits around. Both of them. <laughs> Although I did have to, I needed a USB C cable today or this week, so I I opened up 
one of the cases <laughs> and just took out snagged the it cable and then used it for something so good yeah. use good use so of your switch the, that was the first time that a switch has been touched with human hands in this house <laughs> i would say in maybe 10 months. you can still see the fingerprints on the, oh, on the console dust? itself oh, I, if i showed you you'd be grossed out how much dust not, not as bad as the the playstation but you know no no no, no. Yeah, yeah it was pretty fucked up so I will tell you, I did. Uh, I did at one point turn Animal Crossing back on, and man, those characters in that game give you such a guilt trip for not being there. I know you <laughs> haven't been around for months, and I'm like, can I get a gun? Like, <laughs> so did you guys really? Stop sucking off Animal Crossing, like right when the when the pandemic started, everybody was like Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. So everybody I got, just fell. I, off I, I bought everything playing. I needed, and I just got bored with it. Was the problem. You know, because I went back to play with my like, son. I think that's the problem is eventually you discovered that it was just Animal Crossing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean that's fine. They've had a if couple you want like, to build, build an island and have your friends come. And like, I just didn't, I wasn't in the mood. I was building enough stuff in real life to want to go actually build <laughs> stuff. But, you know, I hear you. Um, so, yeah, as the, as the pandemic released a little bit here in New York, it's, you know, it's just, you weren't stuck inside as much. And I started to lose interest at that point, you know since we could get out and do things in the backyard or you know whatever so it just started to fall off the wayside and then and if you're not there doing your daily stuff and stuff like that i did go back like when the first summer event came back around but it didn't last long they added swimming so you know i, I tried it out a little bit but then it just went back into hibernation so yeah, yeah the swimming was cool but yeah like i said on fire by the way i don't know it's the lighting in here is being weird <laughs> Oh, yes, the lighting's being really weird. The camera's not picking up right. So, yeah, no, it's okay. Like some people like. It I'm embarrassed red. that I played Animal Crossing. <laughs> Even your hair turned red. You were so yeah. embarrassed. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. Hey, you haven't turned purple yet, so you got that going for you. No, that is, that is... That, that'll probably never happen. <laughs> I'm not selling. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, next new release out this week was Destroy All Humans. That was out for the Xbox One, the PS4, and the PC. Now, this is a, uh, if you guys remember, this is a remake of, like, yeah. this came out in, like, 2005. The new game looked a lot better, but Tiff and I tried to play it at PAX East just before the pandemic this year. And, and it didn't change it, from the original? It was No, the, the, their demo was shitty and ripped. Almost every single demo unit we tried to play failed on us. Um, <laughs> oh, really? But I've seen video of it since and it looks like it's working and it looks like it's playable but it's definitely not my kind of game i don't need to anal probe shit and i don't need yeah. to fucking take samples from cows or all this other weird shit but for the people that love the original this is way better than the first one um because yeah, i mean i i played the original in that series i think and then they just basically rebooted it with better graphics as I say, I played the original. I can't remember too much about it um, from way back in the day, but uh, from what I heard, it was just a remake of one of the first ones. I was like, eh, I think I'm going to pass on this one, though. Yeah. I didn't play the original, and this one didn't look any any better than <laughs> just yeah. a remake. Right, so. It's gone. Tossed yeah. it out. Fuck it. All right. <laughs> and uh, the last new release out this week, which, if you're watching live, comes out tomorrow. If you're not, it's already out is grounded for the xbox and uh i'm getting it this is the game oh, this... you saw during the xbox press event where they were like the best game in the year is cyberpunk 2077 but we're another game or whatever they said so the, yeah. the, they, they were willing to it was the, it stage. was the honey i shrunk the kids yes. i don't know it seemed pretty cool yeah yeah this is a game that i've been looking forward to for a while and i'm i'm really excited that it's coming out Wait, this was um, on your fucking radar before that event Oh yeah, yeah. This has been on my radar for a while. Um, Yon, and I, have I, you ever seen this game? No, no, no. I've not okay. seen. I've heard the name, but I've not seen any. That was the first time I at the press event that I actually saw the game, and yeah, I was like, "Oh, that's what that is." Yeah, yeah I would say I, about okay. four, five, six months ago, maybe they had uh, they had a little quick Xbox uh, showcase on it, and they had some of the video, and they had a talk along with what was going on in the game, and. They had a big giant battle with a spider, which was really freaking cool. Um, and, uh, you know, that was in early build, so it even looked better at the showcase. Nice. So, I mean, and this is coming out on Game Pass, so it's a no-brainer. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Already have it. Get it for free. <laughs> Play it. Sweet. So, yeah, it's a, it's a miniaturized uh, survival quest-type game. Um, so it's going to have that building aspect in it. It's going to have, you know, you have to fight off the the 
creatures that are in the grass, the spiders, the ants, whoever knows what else is there. Um, it's it's definitely going to be a great game, I think. I think it's going to be awesome to finally get my hands on it and play it, though. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, so I guess time will tell and we'll see. But, uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to download it because I can and it's free. Well, it's not really free, but it... Hey, it, the fact that... Well, we'll, well, I'll wait for that. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, good stuff. All right, on that, why don't we move on over into gaming news? First story! Microsoft's first party Xbox game showcase, and depending on what news source you looked at, was they weren't showing new games and they were reinventing the world, or it was fucking badass. And I'm going with both. All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, yeah, I'm. It, so this link I put here, in case you guys want to talk about anything, has every single game that was announced. In case you need to yeah. refresh your your memory. Um, I don't know. It was it was good. Um, it wasn't fantastic. Didn't blow my socks off. The the Halo thing was cool. I'm excited just because that game is a great game. So, but yeah, I mean, Halo definitely got me excited. Um, it, it was a little. Uh, I guess bittersweet. Uh, the graphics, they they weren't next gen in my opinion, but it's great to see them keeping to the style of Halo. So it's not like they took a huge jump out of the genre of the game. Um, I love the open world aspect that they're bringing to it, and uh, it looks just huge. And it looks like it's going to be so much fun to play. You know, it does. Yeah. I'm pretty excited by it myself. Yeah, I'm excited about the grounding game too. There was a couple other games. I'm trying to think all was there. I guess I can click the link and Everwild. Uh, Everwild was another one that looked really good. Uh, it was yeah. that uh, special uh who was it? Rare, rare made it. Uh it's the cell shaded adventure type game. That looks like it's gonna be a fun game to play, and it's gonna be uh it, it looks like it's gonna be one of the stories that just draws you in and, and takes you for a wild ride. So I'm looking forward to playing that too. Can, can I just say the Jack Black game is just so trippy? What was oh up with that? Gosh. What was up with that? The I mean, game? It was so weird. <laughs> it was so crazy, funny, weird. I was just like, I was like, oh my gosh, this is definitely a Jack Black type game. Yep. <laughs> that was what was that? Yeah. What was that other Jack Black game? The Rock of Ages? What was that? Oh, uh... Yeah, was it Rock of Ages? No, so, something along that lines. But I, cool I, I Rock. Had, no, it was where he was like the badass and played the guitar. And... Yeah, he was like in the seven light levels of hell, trying to fight his way through it type thing. It was a, it was a fun game. The music soundtrack was phenomenal on it, and you know that's what I was getting out of the the was it Psychonauts that it was yeah, the it Jack was, Black uh, game Psychonauts too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just, it looks like it's gonna have a great, and it's coming from Double Fine, so it's got to be. I think it's gonna be a good game. Brutal Legends is the one you're thinking. Of. Yeah, Brutal Legends. That's what it was. I mean, I got horrible reviews. The gameplay was awful, but the soundtrack was fun. <laughs> Anything with Jack Black is fun. So. We had a couple of story type things, like the Dusk as Dusk Falls, I think, was one of them. And uh, there was another one that was kind of like, it was a narrated story type thing. But, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. None of them really, I mean, there's a couple games that didn't, they were like cool, but none of them really blew my socks off. First person shooter, like cross something, something, cross. Something I've seen that for a while, but I still need to see more gameplay before I really get involved in how, how good like that's going to be. Call of Duty killer. Uh, yeah, no. So, by no means <laughs> is it. Yeah, no, that's what you say. But I think one thing to look at if you want to compare, you know, the PlayStation reveal versus the Xbox. I think the Forza Motorsports versus uh, Gran Turismo, or whatever, GT. Gran Turismo. <laughs> Gran Turismo. I think uh, Forza just blows GT away. Oh, my God. It, looks, uh, it, it just it looks photorealistic. It's insane. It's, it was just so amazing to see that game in gameplay from that. I end up always buying the Forza games um, just because I think they look cool. But I you suck don't at them. Do anymore. They're free. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's and actually that's the point I wanted to I was going to make earlier is everything you fucking saw at the Microsoft event if you have Game Pass is yours for free. And now you're going to say it's not free. I paid $120 a year. Yeah, but you already got your $120 value. This is all brand new shit that they dropped on you 19 new games that they dropped in your lap and we're like yeah taste this shit over the next year 19 <laughs> games 
free of fucking charge, including Halo, including fucking. Yeah. So can we Forza. can we can pause on that for a second, Derek? So yeah. let's take the let me take the next story, and I want to elaborate on what you're saying there. Mm. So uh, the next story is story. Take Two's interactive NBA 2K21 will cost ten dollars more on the next generation console. So the reason why I wanted to bring this up is because, like Derek's saying, is like the Game Pass. Think about it. You're gonna, you're now gonna be most likely. This is not just this game. Most games are gonna cost seventy dollars now. So think about it. You pay for Game Pass. You're getting more than just one game with Game Pass for a hundred. What'd you say? Hundred twenty something dollars. I don't know. I just pay. It. It's awesome. It's ten bucks a month. Yeah. So twelve months. Hundred. Yeah. Hundred twenty bucks. bucks. So that's two. That's two games as as is now. So, but you're getting tons of games, and then they showed on the showcase. It was like what. I don't know how many of the games they said. Twenty-two games that were going to be like over the twenty-two games were going to be like free because they're <laughs> technically they're free at some point because yeah. you're only just they're paying for the service. Pass. Yeah, yeah, it's it's that's phenomenal, you know. And and this seems like and the reason why I, I brought up the story because this seems like the I just want to say this is the way it's going. I'm not surprised that they're raising it ten dollars. Oh, it's been I, a while I'm since not, they bring game prices. So game prices have been sixty dollars since. I the graduated Atari. college. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is not a shock to me. Inflation had yeah. to catch up, and there was some yeah. weird thing where they were like, oh, well, this is what people are willing to pay, so we have to make it there. But then games have costed hundreds of times more than they used to cost. Like, it, a game used to be made by, like, like Ken and Roberta Williams made fucking King's Quest and Police Quest and Space Quest and all the That's... A couple, like a husband yeah. and wife team. And now we're talking studios of hundreds of people and you have graphic artists and, and audio people and it's it's not the same thing. These games should have costed a lot yeah. more a long time But I want to ago. propose a question to you with, with that being said, okay? So a lot of times that a lot of the cost in that is because they're paying for the disc and the printing and some of the... You know, some of the materials, so okay? Yep. But now it's becoming more digital. Do you think the price really should go up? No. Hey, I don't think... I'm just I'm just asking, proposing the question. You know, I, I can see it so, both sides, but so I was just I'll curious you what you guys why thought. that's the case, and because uh, I've asked this of people that I've talked to at E3 before. Yeah. So they're already eating all of this cost. So at, oh, the, yeah. at the point where it was like, well, now that we're doing digital... Like, why not extend that? What you're saying is, like, extend that savings on to the customer. But it's really not a savings because they've already eaten it because they, they've they spent this year, like, compared to 20 years ago, 100x to make that game, and they're charging the same price. Imagine if you bought anything 20 years ago and paid the same price for it. You can't even picture that. Like... Imagine buying a house 20 years ago and having it be the same cost today. Like, it's... Like, as much as everybody hates capitalism and all these other things, everybody's freaking out, like, it's... It's... They need to recoup these costs. They, their teams have gone from teams of two to five to teams of hundreds. And, yeah. and the game price has not gone up, so... And granted, they're selling more just because there's more consoles out there, but they need to, to make it up on the back end too. Otherwise, it becomes a business that's not lucrative for them. And the whole point of being in business is to make money. So if you're not going to do is? something to... Yeah, in theory, Jan, yes. <laughs> in so theory. You want your in business theory. to be profitable, not to be a loss. Like, you don't just want to write off on your taxes every year. I made awesome gains and lost billions. Like, that's not something anyone wants to I think your off. stockholders would, wouldn't like yeah, that either. I mean, I mean yeah. there, is, there is an equation. Like, there was, you know, there was, like, 50,000 gamers 20, 25 years ago that were playing. Now you're talking millions of, like, so the industry, yeah, I think that the changed, price... Yeah. The, 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 everything has changed. I mean, obviously, they're selling a lot more individual pieces, let's say. Um, but it, for the fact that the games have only stayed at $60 for this long, it has been ridiculous. It really has. That they haven't done some kind of price increase over the time frame before now. Um, so it's it's not surprising that they did it. I think they needed to do it a little bit. Um, I don't think that, you know, the difference in production costs is going to change it that much. No, 
um, over the long haul. Most I like, they spend so much on marketing that okay, they take out <laughs> like, a quarter of a marketing. Way too budget. much on marketing. <laughs> so yeah, I, I almost think that Take Two doing this is what it took because if the the console manufacturers had said like, hey, we've been doing sixty dollars for so long, we need to up this. Well, that's collusion, and then you have all kinds of 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 industry problems that like like sec issues and everything else if you're colluding to raise the price if take two individually raises the price and says hey development's more expensive now they're not colluding with anyone and now everybody can then piggyback on what they're saying and be like hey ours is too and you know what <laughs> we're going to charge another 10 and we're going to charge another 10 and it it opens the communication for that without the, the big three being like, fuck this. We've been getting fucked for the last, at least the last 10 of the last 20 years when we should have followed along with inflation and we didn't. So like, I know everybody hates $60 games, but think of what, what people pay $60 for. Like pre, pre-corona, like you can go, you go out to dinner to a, or yeah. go to a movie. You yeah. go to a movie with three people and it's 60 bucks. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you go to dinner with, your family and yeah. you, you've bought three to four xbox games like it's yeah. not like it, it it didn't scale and it lasted a long time and we just need to be okay with things changing and moving forward. i don't i don't have a problem with it because i mean most of the games are going to be free on game pass so i'm, I'm good <laughs> Right, yeah, and we I think we have to go free. We have to put the free in the quotes because we are. Yeah, I know we are paying for a service. I know it's they're not actually free, but it's but it, it seems fucking at a cheaper cost for me at some paid point. For before and you're yeah. getting something later, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I also I also think this is good on the back end of you know the smaller developers, the ones that are putting <laughs> out those fifteen to thirty dollar games. You're going to see more value out of those games especially if they can raise their prices a little bit more to help compensate those smaller developers and be able to get something. So the $50, $60 games go up 10 bucks to 70 and $60. Now you got those 15 and $10 games going up to 25 or, you know, 20 game, $20 per game. That at least puts more money back in their pockets as well to help them compensate on, you know, developing these games. So I think it's, I think it's good. Think those so. games can go up. So those things are trash that are barely worth the, the $10 that they're charging. The difference is if someone has to judge a $10 game versus a $60 game or a $10 game versus a $70 game, now that 10 seems even cheaper. Because I well, look then, at those games... Then, that you then it helps them out still that way. It still, it still <laughs> does help them out. But I look at those games that you pick up and I, I don't want any of them. And I know that Yant has expressed this in the past as well. Some of them, them, yes. Yeah, I, I would agree. There, <laughs> Some of them are just like, why are you playing that? <laughs> Stop yeah, giving them money. It's, Stop uh, it, giving them money. <laughs> but if you look at the if you look at the Steam library, like what's for sale in Steam library, there's so many of those budget value games that are on the top sales list all the time, and I think it's going to help those kind of guys out. On you know you know the smaller developers that can put out on Steam and you know hit the market uh, Xbox marketplace. I think it's going to help them out with you know seeing the increase in price on the big side. You still you know, even if they raise them like five, ten dollars, I don't think you're gonna. I think you're gonna see benefit on the back end. If they don't raise it, that's even more benefit for the people that are buying the game. So, yeah, well, time will tell. We'll just keep an eye on things and see what happens. All, All right. right, next story. Ah, right, no one's got one. I'll take one. I just took one. Right, well, <laughs> Selden's slow, so I got one. This will fire Selden up. The okay. Stadia controller finally oh works gosh. wirelessly with Android phones. And this comes from Gadget. So months and months and months after the shit-ass launch of Stadia, the thing we all made fun of, like, the one thing that they could have done is made their, their device, which is a Google thing, which is Stadia, which is also Android, that you would think that the Stadia controller would work with Android phones running Stadia. But no. No. This was not a launch day thing. This thing took five plus months. Actually, six and a half months. So... Well, in Stadia's defense, they're still in beta, right? <laughs> they sold shit to people. So, so is Fortnite. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, so is... Gmail. 
<laughs> like, Gmail's been in beta for 20 fucking years or whatever. Like, I... And this, this story is only added because it made me laugh and because I knew it would make Selden sad. So, it's fucked up. And does anybody give a shit about Stadia anymore? I, I do have it installed on my phone. I have yet to purchase a single game from it. I'm just keeping an eye on it, see what's going on with it. Um, if if they supported other controllers, I might start looking at buying something from it, but I'm not going to go out and buy a... Why, a, though? A Stadia controller just to try to play, and it's honestly playing on my phone a AAA title like that is just not enticing to me right you now. You're gonna be able to play a AAA title on your phone? It's called Project uh, Fucking X Cloud, motherfucker. Project and it's fucking <laughs> was... free with your fucking Game Pass Ultimate. You don't have to pay Google to suck them off. You I was playing play. Ori on my phone the other day. I loved it. <laughs> See? Exactly. Fuck Google. Fuck so. their whole shit. Yeah, they got to fix it. Something's definitely they they're yeah, they're they, making changes, but I just don't know how long they're going to be able to keep these changes before Google itself says, you know what, this has failed. We're done. Cut the line. Yeah, just like so. Hangouts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, gonna miss Hangouts when it goes away. <laughs> all right, next story. Hmm. I'll take this one. I was watching this a little bit. EA's newly released Rocket Arena is on sale for $10 down from $40. All right. this The game looks interesting. Um, it's kind of like a Super Smash Brothers meets Fortnite type game. It's a the, the battle of... Cars? Yeah, it's a battle of... No, this is a... It's a battle arena game. Oh, wait, am I... Th- it looked like Rocket League, too. No, Rocket League is with cars. Rocket yeah. Arena is... It's a... 3v3 uh, oh, PV right. yeah, yeah, yeah. arena style game. Nobody actually dies. The only way you get knocked out is you have to get knocked off the map. Um, everything's like rocket based, big explosions. The game looked kind of interesting, but it just, it you know, I was watching. I'm just like, 40? not at $40, not at $10, I don't think. It's got to be a free to play <laughs> if it's going to make any move. Um, it's just, it's the. <sighs> I don't know. It's something about the geometry and everything about it just doesn't really work for me. Um, it, I, I think the game's gonna fail. <laughs> Fair enough. It could. I, I now that you refresh my recollection of this, yeah, I didn't really care about this. I couldn't see how it was forty. I thought it was free to play when I first saw it. So to, to learn that it was forty and then dumbed down to ten, it's not on my list at all. Like, I see where they're going with the whole concept of it, that you have to get knocked off the map to get eliminated, but it's just it just doesn't work in the arena-style three-dimensional world, I think, so. Yep. Right, Neon's got nothing to say. <laughs> the fact that, I, the fact I really, that I they really already dropped it from 40 I, to $10. I, is yeah, because it's, it's now in Selden's realm of the $10 game. So, oh, so now you I, can give a shit because it's in Selden's <laughs> wheelhouse. Yeah, yes. Selden's domain, so I don't really care. So. All right, fair enough. All right, next story then. Um, I'll take it. Oh, good. Um, That's what I was looking at. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> Uh, Tetris is now a daily game show with cash prizes. Like, this is, this is the new cool. HQ trivia. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of cool. I like that they're going with this concept. This is crazy. Like they're they're bringing back this old game Tetris. Okay, let's just talk about this because this was on the it's showcase. The Xbox for... thing too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, why is Tetris becoming like? Don't get me wrong. Tetris is Tetris is was always the tits, and now it's the yeah. tits again. And they're like bringing it back. And this is this is a great idea. Okay. This is there's nothing wrong with this idea. Like. I don't know what the they don't really say in the article what the prizes the you know the kind of what amount of the prizes Nobody are says but what the prizes are in HQ trivia but I won the game like 30 times and have like 9 11 18 bucks tops like yeah so it'll be interesting to see I think it's interesting it's it's cool uh it's kind of a good concept to take this old cool I think Old school retro games are coming back, so this is kind of interesting to see. I mean, the fact that they brought it in the, the showcase, which was don't get me wrong, that was one of the best. I love the, how they did it to make it look like it was community, and you didn't really yeah. know what the game was until the very end. You're like, Oh, uh, that's good. That was, see, I, I knew right, was I, I, I right, knew right away with the shapes. Down, <laughs> down and well, yeah, when the shapes started coming, but at first there wasn't shapes, it was just yeah. blocks of people, and then it yeah. finally got the shapes, and it was oh, like, Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. 
but that was cool. Yeah. Tetris was cool. is definitely one of the games that just keeps reinventing itself. Uh, even like the Tetris, um, what was that on the Nintendo? The Tetris, uh, the one v one hundred. Yeah, the one v one hundred. Yeah, Tetris ninety nine. Tetris is fucking timeless. Like yeah. I remember playing the original Tetris that all the fucking text was still in Russian and it had the cool <laughs> song and everything else. And I played it on my PC, like PC XT. It was like an X86, the, the one of the early ones. Like, this game is timeless and yeah. everybody yeah. loves it. So to, to see a, a community-based text uh, Tetris game is... Uh, uh, and I didn't mean game. to take it from you, Derek, but I was excited when I saw it because I was like, I know how much you guys pushed that game show game on me. Yeah. And I was like, this, I'm taking this one because this is a great <laughs> one to talk about. I yeah, love it. This is like HQ meets... One yeah. versus 100 meets Tetris. And yeah. that's kind of what I like about this. So, yeah, I, I'm a big fan. I don't know. All right. I'll take the next story. Uh, okay. Latest Xbox Lockhart rumors point to an August announce. So, this is the worst, best kept secret in <laughs> all of gaming is that Microsoft has more than one SKU and Sony does not. And uh, it looks like, based on everything that we see going on in the industry right now, that we're expecting to see that lower uh, lower class SKU announced within the next month. And that is going to be a fucking game changer. Because So, wait, so the, Sony does not have two SKUs? I haven't been Sony, following Sony Sony's news. Sony has two SKUs, but theirs okay. are with a disc and without. They do not have a... Multiple SKUs like Xbox does. Multiple yeah. so, versions. So yeah. this is... The, the Lockhart SKU is a 1080p only uh, Xbox Series blank, which will be yeah. a Series S, obviously. So if, if you paid attention during the event, and I thought we had to... Oh, so I'm going to I'm gonna tag this in with another story then. Um since we're talking about this. Yeah, yeah. Xbox's cross-gen pledge might not uh, apply to every upcoming first-party game. And this comes from Gama Sutra. So, what people, crafty people noticed is that certain games, and I'm gonna, uh, a couple of first-party reveals noted on future Xbox Series X and Windows PC releases leaving out any mention of the current Xbox One. Forza Motorsport, Fable, and others lacked an Xbox One mention on their title cards, while other first-party games like Halo Infinite and Psychonauts listed all three of Microsoft's platforms. So the thought is that there is going to be a need to, to have a series blank for some of these future games. And that's where Lockhart's sweet spot is because Lockhart is basically the 1080p version of the Series X. So the Series S is supports the same games, the same everything, but instead of supporting 4K60, supports 1080p, 6030, no one knows because we haven't had the announce yet. But um, this SKU is critical for Microsoft. Uh, and like we're going to learn about this within the next month because it's almost the end of July and this is coming in August. And this is definitely a game changer compared to what Sony's put out because there's no, like think of how many gamers that play on PlayStation that don't have a 4K device. So now they're going to pay a premium to play 1080p on their shit fucking, their mommy's fucking hand-me-down TV in their bedroom? No. Like, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? I, I did read some of the stories, you know, alluding to the fact that they're not going to, you know, support the Xbox One with the couple of titles. Specifically, a lot of people were talking about Fable not being able to support the Xbox One. I think the, the hidden key is that if they get xCloud running, I think xCloud will run all these games and can stream to anything. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But, but I think that you're right. a streaming game and it's not a, you, you can't use it anywhere. Which is, right. I think, why they have to be careful about how they they put the the message out about this. Yeah. Right. So, but I, I, 
You know, I, I think that the the Lockhart series is going to be the one that's going to be the bridge between these two. Um, you know, I'm, I'm tossed if they're going to support the Xbox One with some of these games that they're talking about. Uh, they didn't give release dates on a few of the, a lot of the games, so uh, it's it's alluding to where when they're going to be released and what at what point in the life cycle of the console that we're talking about. So, I also read another article um, right after the event that that talked about how Microsoft is putting more of their and we all see this more of their eggs into the basket of you know not we wouldn't call it crossplay anymore. Like you can have it anywhere you know yeah. play anywhere type thing so you know i don't know what all this means right now but it, it's showing that that they're they're going a different so like when we're talking about the console wars i don't really think it's a console war anymore um i think nintendo has their their thing when it comes to handhelds yeah. uh playstation's still doing the console thing and microsoft's just throwing it out everywhere so i don't think they're playing the same game anymore you know, it's not, it's, it, they're still trying to sell hardware. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think Microsoft's really pinning it down on that anymore as much as they are everything else. Like we've talked about before, their services. So, yeah, I was reading an article similar to what you're saying. It was like, it's no longer console war. They're all, they all three have different objectives of what they're going for. Yeah. Um, you know, the PlayStation's going for that movie feel to the games and stuff like that through the console. Xbox is going towards the subscription base, like a Netflix and things like that. Yeah, and that's why they fit into that. You know, the play anywhere, play anytime. They, they they're looking at Netflix. Like if Netflix came out with a new version that you had to upgrade your TV to a 4K TV, how many subscribers would they lose if they all of a sudden they said you can't? You know, you can no longer stream our movies unless you get a 4K TV. Yeah, and so and then and you're right. Nintendo's totally going uh, you know, to the mobile market, to the handheld market. You can see what their releases on, you know, the Play Store and the iTunes Store. You know, they're they're releasing their IP to those mobile markets because they know that's where their that's where their bread and butter is, isn't that you know carry that game anywhere type thing. So well, and Mike in chat brings up a good point. Different tiers, like probably different tiers of pricing for different devices in the future too. So that could be a possibility as well. So I, that's a good point, Mike. If that's where you're going with that, um, I think that's really good. I think that's us. That could be that could be where things are going, you know. We might be changing to the seventy dollar game, but depending on the device, it could be fifteen dollars on you know your mobile device or whatever. What the yeah, heck you you're doing, now. Eric? Yeah. So, yeah, I think at, at, right now they're all set up to win, no matter what. So yeah. they all are going to reach for their objective, and I think they're all going to hit their objective, and I think they're all going to be winners in this generation. So it's really not a war anymore, as you know per se. It's they're all, you know, they're all taking a good chunk of the pie, but they're all going to win. So, <laughs> and Jeremy says, "Back to PC as Master Race." Well, it's it's <laughs> always been Master Race. I, you know, it's not. Let's not. Uh, let's not go there. We we get it. I <laughs> PC. I actually I watched when I watched the Microsoft event. I like to watch you know uh, streamer talk about it too because I like to see what their input is. I'm, I watched somebody new that I haven't watched before. Um, and obviously they play all PC things and they were a PC master race. It was funny because every time they, they brought up 60, F, you know, 60, 60, 60, 60, they were like, oh, well, that should be the standard now. And they, like, they were all like and PC master race. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> yes. yeah, it, yeah. And it just makes me laugh because I, I get it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. The graphics are 10 times better on a PC and you, but people don't have the money for that, you know, and it, Trust me, if that was the case, but there's more hackers on PC too. So, you know, give it what you will. <laughs> so. I also saw that uh, in lieu of that, that the uh, the GeForce Now uh, streaming service, they're upgrading all their graphics servers to 3080s. So they're going to be pushing out a lot of top tier graphics through streaming. So you can't think that, you know, the Xbox X Cloud, even though it's still in beta, you know, closed beta, they're going to be able to upgrade their graphics push out too. So, I mean, yeah. we're going to competing graphic wise, you know, and you, you don't have to buy the hardware. You don't have to keep upgrading your hardware. It's all going to be farmed out. So it'll be interesting to see where, I mean, all isn't there a certain point where the human eye really can't, is, what is the, there's a certain point where the human a eye can't really do a million frames a second. Yeah. And that's when mine stops. Notice <laughs> mine's much lower. <laughs> <laughs> mine's Mike three. So <laughs> just... I, 
I have like 10 that. vision, so I can see all these things where you guys can't, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next story! You stole them all, Derek. All right, well, there's a couple the left. story you guys don't care about. Ghost of Tsushima sold over 2.4 million copies in three days. This is that PlayStation third person stealth game that no i i watch people play it about. i thought it was cool I'm, I'm not you know i don't it's not my type of game anymore i mean maybe back in the day i'd play it but it looked good the graphics look good they had a lot of good tier system on how you leveled up certain things with your weapons and stuff i thought it was pretty pretty good game it wasn't terrible so, it just no. wasn't my kind of game anymore yeah and i'm not surprised it looked like a game that like a lot of people were excited about so you know that's cool. Yeah. All right. That was quick and easy. Next yeah. story. One of you guys. We got two so then you take the... I'll take you, this one. Microsoft yeah. will ban Forza players who add Confederate flags to their digital cars. Yeah. I think this is a smart choice. They they should be they should have been doing this uh, with other uh, hate symbols and things like that. Um, and I think that uh, in, the, in today's world, I think that... Uh, you know the Confederate flag is what it is, and the, if people know, you know, it's. I I have his heart all, hearts into... all over my car, so nothing but love for everyone. <laughs> so, it's just you know, it's it, it's not surprising that they're going to do this. So it's um you know, and they also included swastikas that it will also be banned. <laughs> that, well, wasn't that, good, yeah. that should have been a long time ago. So. That should have been a long time ago. That one should have been at the beginning. Like, and, and I'll admit, as someone from New, the New England area, like I. I believe that at some point in my garage in Forza, I had the General Lee, which to me reminded me of my childhood and Dukes of Hazard and this and that. But but now in a more woke state, like that was fucked up. Like we should never have liked that at all. So like I I you know what I, I it's I not it's not about the flag on top, it's about the car. Let's let's yes. let's so, be real here. And I let's saw be real. The guy that has the actual General Lee has changed the the top to yeah. uh, like the expensive actual uh one of the ones from the show, like the most expensive one from the show has changed the top to to be more appropriate. And that's yeah. what we need to see here is like yeah it, we're not going to get political we're not going to make people feel bad about where they're from or you know what, what, Derek's uh, okay everybody freeze in uh, chat everybody uh, be listen to this later everybody freeze yeah. take a deep breath <laughs> Derek's having a moment here yes let's I, breathe it in let's let's we're, we're it's beautiful all, we're, we're all, all have a big hug guys. after this we're all, people. We, we're all humans yes just we, to get along, we all just need to, all just need to and behave and be nice. And, and yes, be good and yes. So yeah. uh, that's yeah. all we can hope for. So, uh, but, but I, I was. It is nice to see these companies that give people these basically carte blanche customizations to to then uh, kind of step in and be like, hey, that's fucked up, and <laughs> and fix things. So uh good to see good on microsoft and i'm happy about that so yeah and on a spin of that i don't know if you guys did you guys ever watch that uh show that was a uh, mythic quest raven's banquet um it was a show put out by the guys from it's always sunny in philadelphia it's basically it, it follows the day-to-day -day operation of a game company it's actually really freaking hilarious if you haven't it seen it yet television or the internet it's uh i caught it on a plex server somewhere so i don't know where it originally broadcast at I have um, seen this and you just admitted to a crime. <laughs> no, no, these are okay. Yeah, but it's it's actually hilarious if you can get a chance to see it. Watch this; it's it's really funny. But they deal with a situation just similar to this whole uh, Confederate flag on top of it. They're it's basically they've they're running an MMO uh, that's supposedly you know one of the best MMOs in the world, and they just you know they're constantly coming up with issues and things like that. And they ended up they introduced an item into the game that became a very um, sought after item by white supremacist hate groups and things like that. So and then all of a sudden they had factions within the game that were hate groups and they were getting a lot of flack from the public. And they actually ended up, they, they segregated, the, not segregated, they pushed wow, them all what, to- what a choice of <laughs> words there, so. Yeah. But they pushed, they okay, didn't want to lose- in the show. <laughs> but they didn't want to lose that player base, so they created a, a solo 
realm racist just for the yeah racist server so that uh, all the races could be together wow. it was actually really funny it was a funny funny way how they handled the situation but it was it had the the realm of you know truth in it and like this mm -hmm. is fucked up that people even think this way in games so but the game the the show it's uh mythic quest raven's banquet just if you get a chance watch it it's a short uh season and it's really funny so selden you're not gonna make me do anything illegal i'm not watching the things on i'll Black. find out i think it i think it was on apple tv so okay if, you, if anybody's you have listening to this now or later do not do anything illegal we do not promote legal yeah. legal I have, illegal I have activities apple i have on apple this show. tv god blesses this <laughs> it, unless Yant blesses it, it's, yes. it's totally do not do it. illegal. Yeah. Yes. All right. So if you have Apple TV, like I have Apple TV, I just happen to watch then it someplace else. You just go onto your friend's Plex server from the Plex <laughs> app on Apple TV and watch their pirate <laughs> content. Yes. All right. Last day! <laughs> Uh, I don't even want to. It's now, it's this dumb. This is all you. This is the thing you love. You love them so much. I do. Rockstar. Mm-hmm. I don't love Red Dead Online. Okay, I'll yeah. just do it. Rockstar previews major updates for Red Dead Online and GTA 5 Online. This is by Engadget. Um, call it GTA 5, not GTA V. <laughs> I wasn't sure what you were going to do with that. Uh, I should have said V, dang it. Um, I, they The reason why they're doing this is because there's so many people that still play these two games. I mean, honestly, these, these people still play these. Do I don't play either one. Play these? No, I, I don't play either one. No but there are people play still this. playing these games, and it's, you know, um, they're updating all the time. They have specific, like, Twitch has their specific no-pixel server that they have that people just play on, and they make updates, specific updates to the game for that specific server for GTA Five. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, so I'm not surprised. And they're starting to do it with Red Dead Online, too. They actually have a lot of those guys that are on the no pixel server for GTA. Are Some of them are going over and playing because they wanted to play the cowboy version of, you know, and do their own role playing stuff. So, you know, it's, it, I'm not surprised. Eventually, they're going to have to, like, I don't know. Like, how bad is the code on this game? Like, eventually, they're going to have to, like, <laughs> you need some actual update. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah. big, huge, like, overhaul. But I'm just curious. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's interesting seeing they're still, this to this day, they're still updating the Red Dead in line. It's still fairly new, so that's not surprising. But the GTA 5 was, all right, sorry, GTA V was uh, <laughs> just for Derek. Um, yes, yeah. That is, you know, it's not surprising that it's surprising they're still actually updating that game because, like, but people love it. People play it all the time. I, I, I GTA I Five online on there, is yeah. coming to PlayStation Five, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my God! So. So, so loving the PlayStation tonight. This guy, That's just, uh, they made that announcement. I'm like, are they PlayStation's so. before the show, guys? So, yeah. <laughs> oh. Trader, <laughs> I'm not buying a PlayStation Five. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm only buying one. So I, I could still like what they put out sometimes. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree with you, Selden. I do. Like the like I I it sucks because I'm not a PlayStation guy and I'm not a Sony guy. And like it sucks I get to miss out on games like the Star Wars the, the Spider Man game and um you know Ghost? A couple of those other <laughs> games. Yeah. Well the Ghost Assassin's wasn't really Ghost like you know it looks like a good game but it's not a game I'd really yeah, want to sit down and play through. Um, yeah no Last of Us Last of Us, yes, that was another one that I would have been interesting to play, yeah, but yeah, you know, that's the problem. That's why you need to catch them all. They're like mods. No, I'm not. I'm not. I just I don't <laughs> have time for that. <laughs> I barely have time for the games I play. I don't want yeah. to another system. Uh, all right. But if PlayStation wants to send me a console, I'll gladly take it. Yeah, and I'll... Selden will take one. Sony, <laughs> who's super reliable about sending out free consoles. All right. Yeah. On that, let's yeah, wrap up gaming news. If you have any stories you want us to talk about next week, give us a call 773-527-2961 or email us at podcast at toolplay.com. You can also comment on the on this episode's thread on the Toolplay homepage. And sponsors. Now that we're on Facebook Live and Facebook Gaming. We need some sponsors, so reach out to us, and we'll we'll make a deal with you. And at this point in the show, we'll say really good shit about your product, and we'll make it seem sincere 
and then our viewers will believe us. Okay, so I'll make a deal. If we get a sponsor, I won't let Derek handle it. I will I will be nice. And I will handle the sponsor. <laughs> Yacht, Yacht would like to roll with the ads. That's okay. Yes, I will roll with the ads and sponsorships. I can gladly do that. I'm just dropping it real with you, sponsors. Like, yeah. like this is a pretty good place to fucking advertise. So come here and advertise. Because we'll, we'll use stuff. your stuff. We'll, yeah. we'll give an honest yeah. opinion about it. And we'll, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll definitely like. uh, we'll definitely pimp it out. That's yeah. what type of guys we are. We'll treat you like magic. So, yeah. like I said, if you want to sponsor us, 773-527-2961. Email us at podcasttool.com, and uh, we'll do it up for you. All right, Twitter us up. You can find everything tool player related at twitter.com slash tool to play. Everything podcast related at twitter.com slash skill underscore got underscore game. I, king of the internet, got of everything that's holy. I'm at twitter.com slash Derek Nolan. And I'm at twitter.com slash Selden007. And I'm at twitter.com slash James A. Yacht. Facebook the fuck out of some of us. Facebook.com slash tool to play. Facebook.com slash Derek Nolan. Facebook.com slash Selden 007. I have a Facebook page, but I don't really care. So right. <laughs> we also have a YouTube uh, channel. So go to youtube.com slash tool to play and subscribe there. And that's where we will archive all of our video content, old and new. Everything that you ever want from the history of tool to play is at youtube.com slash tool to play. So go there. You'll get hits, quick hits. You'll get it, Tiff's immature interviews. You'll get thick and thin with LV and duty. You'll get Selden's camera from the floor facing up. You'll get. <laughs> I love how it changes every single time. I love it. I, I didn't want to be raunchy on our first. Yeah. Gaming I got you. Uh, <laughs> You'll get all of our shows, and including all the episodes of Still Got Game. So they're all on YouTube.com slash Tool to Play. So go there and follow us, and you'll get all of our archive video content. Uh, I also remind you, please rate and review us on iTunes. This is That's where our podcast version goes, the version that has, like, almost 10,000% more viewers or listeners than the video versions. Um, so go to iTunes, give us five stars if you can, and if you have an extra five seconds, write a nice little review for us, and it would mean something, uh, mean something special. We love you. We love you for it. Just saying. Love you. Uh, we have a Discord. If you want to talk to Yant and Selden all day, hit sometimes more. Tiff, never. Me, <laughs> probably never. But we do have a Discord where you can go there, so go to toolplay.com slash SGG Discord. That's like S as in still, G as in got, G as in game, all in lowercase Discord. And uh, join our Discord, and at least Selden will talk to you all day long. Like, in, even in the middle of the night. Like, he has it set to, like, buzz him and wake him up and talk to you then. Yeah. So, uh, toolplay.com slash SGG Discord, and you will be part of the show. Like, virtually, you're almost here next to us. Like, almost. It's the closest you can be than being on the show. Uh, and I guess before we wrap up, I want to remind you all, you can join us each and every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, at facebook.com slash tool to play. And that is where we broadcast this show live to you. And uh, we will for the foreseeable future. And it seemed to have worked out pretty well tonight. So uh, uh, on that, we will wrap this episode 437 up. I am Derek D. Smooth Nolan. I am Chris Selden, 007 Selden. And I'm James Yacht Dog, Roof Roof Yacht. Yeah. Woot, woot, woot. Facebook. Zuck, zuck, zuck. All right. I know. And for the people who don't like Zuck, just Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Facebook gaming, baby. I'd like all to right. say thanks to all the tool to play community members that are now going to find us again on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of randos drop in tonight on Facebook gaming, and yeah, uh, we we we're getting a lot of uh, love and stuff in the chat too. I saw a lot of things flying up, so it's good. Yeah. yeah. So this was good. We're back. We're on Facebook gaming. It was a different thing. 
I also controlled the stream, which was weird. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it was good, except for that I feel like I had a pointer on my face half the time. No <laughs> other than that, you wait, know. Wait, you can see my mouse pointer? Yes, it was on my mouth, and I was going like this. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. So I didn't realize that's the case. You have to tell me these things. Because I told Hit these things. Yeah, I, I was trying to be nice. It was the first night. You did it, yeah. did it all on yourself. I, you know. Yeah, I'm literally broadcasting and doing the show and working the outline and everything. So yeah. if, if you just like gave me like some little under the table, like, hey, do you want to move your mouse pointer <laughs> out of my mouth? Then I would have been like, sling. But yeah. I Thanks, Mike. So sorry. <laughs> Thanks for joining, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Mike was here the whole show. I know. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. I'll have to say it's a little on discons- Twitch or Mixer, but he's here on Facebook. I love it. Yeah. It's just a little weird though in our in our Zoom window that it's just your picture staring at me the whole time. I know. That's why you have to watch something else. You just just put the, the delayed version of the other thing up. Like I don't know. It's... No, you just need to buy a camera so you can have two cameras going at once. Uh, and I, don't, I got a question. So when you do that, do you have to put your your picture up there? You can't or. You can't do it's a, dual it's feed a static it. So. Image. It's just the image that is associated with your Zoom account. I know, but you, when you crop us out, you take those from Zoom. Why aren't you taking the video feed from Zoom with your picture? It's, I'm just, I'm just curious. Because my Zoom window doesn't have my. Mine's not a Zoom. Mine's the actual webcam. Oh, yours is the XSplit crap. Okay, never mind. That's why I can't have my. Because only one application in Windows 10 can have access to the web. Yeah, no, I got, I got that. So right. I just didn't know why you. To... Yeah. So because we're using XSplit to stream, okay. Yeah. But if we were you using OBS or whatever, it'd be a different story. Wait, so. OBS multiple apps can share the webcam. Um, I thought ye... there was a limitation of Windows 10 once they switched to the different architecture for. I can test servers. it to see. All right. Yeah, if you even if you fire up OBS right, uh, sorry, we're in the after show, guys, so we're fucking around. <laughs> you don't like it. Let's see what happens. So fire yeah. up OBS now and see if you see yourself in your OBS session. I got an update. It hasn't been a while, so my guess that. is it's going to say that your the device is in use and you can't use it in OBS. Well, you got to give me a minute. I have an update, so. Don't update in the middle of the show. <laughs> it's not the middle of the show. It's all in. No, I learned that a long time ago. What, the after show is still so part of the I show. Will, I promise I will get make sure my camera is, uh, the lighting is better in here. The lighting was all you jacked. so orange. This it show. was because I had yeah. one light pointed on me, and then there was no other light source, so it was screwing it up. You're like, ah, Yeah. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Run Facebook gaming. Oh. Uh, we're rookies, by guys. So. <laughs> I mean, we're not all pro yet. We're getting there. No, no, I wish I had uh, been more paying attention because then I could have gone to yacht and been like, <laughs> no, no, that's not the right way. Oh, no, that's not the right way either. No, no. <laughs> Uh, is it like white balance that would fix that? Oh, look at me! I'm no, I just need to. I need to get the lights set up. I just need to get in the. I'm so yawned. I'm so. <laughs> you got to give us a minute. We have to wait for the stream to catch oh, up. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you guys can't see it yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I miss FTL. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This takes so long for me to do a joke. Like I said, I'll get the lighting done. Yeah, but you were just orange. You weren't red. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't even know how to fucking do that, man. <laughs> if even if I wanted to, I couldn't do that. Uh, Down's forehead was... so red, it looks like he has a, like a Rambo and bandana around his head. <laughs> it does look like Johnny Rambo over there. Yep. Oh, That's what I'm going so, for. Oh, is that my mouse pointer behind your head? Oh, now I see. Even on his face. Like. Yeah. Like he's got like right in his eyeball. So where am I dropping that? That's oh, okay. <laughs> so what it is is if it's in front of another window that's not the actual window, it still shows. 
because you guys all maximized or behind the outline, but that's why this is happening. So right now, this is over uh, the word YouTube.com in the outline, but it's like up in your faces. Okay, so I see what you're saying, Yon. So I have to be more careful about that in the future. Yeah. yeah. You just got to throw the mouse all the way to the left. I'll have, to, I'll have to play with this later. It's it's all jacked up because it's still, I haven't like opened it since Mixer died and it's all connected and it won't, nothing works. So <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. Works. Everything's broken. Yeah, it's all, it's all Mixer's fault. Nice. I, mean, I can try to do Skype, but I'm afraid that would totally kick me out because no, that's, that's a okay. video call. So. All right, so then, uh, chat, thank you for joining us on our first yeah, it's Facebook awesome. gaming episode. And uh, we'll do this again next Monday night. And we love you guys, and thanks for coming out. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for joining us. And uh, on that, we'll see you next week. Peace out. Good night, everyone.